Hey guys, this was my dad's rider. If shit don't fall, it pours. You guys wonder, okay, what I mean by it? Well, today I had just today I had to go out <coughs> to my track supply and buy the starter gear, starter. Pinion gear. This shit's getting really stupid around here. Here's the new gear. Alright. The time I started it up, you guys probably could hear the starter was making noise. Well, the problem is this ain't a normal starter on this model. not one of those easy to get to starters but all the parts are sitting up here here's the start is here's the gear start out pretty looking nice and destroyed the teeth Now you guys say, well, that you got a bad starter. Well, no, I don't have a bad starter. There's hardly any flop in that starter. You guys want an old bad starter? Starter right here is bad. It's getting there. And another way you guys can tell a toast. Another way you can tell if the uh, starter's toast. Here's one off from that one rather just got running. Toast it. Now that's what happens when you have a sloppy starter starter shaft. Now that's toasted. But I will show you guys how to repair that. I'm not going to show you about this problem here. Um, Zipple, it's got a pretty good video. And there's another guy out there that's got a good video. Just one thing to know when you put this together. Um, Make sure you use some lubrication on this um, so it can spin. Okay, it's spinning nice. I put some WD 40 down in here. Uh, 3 in 1, I mean. That way, there it's the shaft spins freely. Just remember that, and there you go. The one that I want to show you guys see how my cap can't free play, it's like a little rough. That's what I wanted to show you guys the most. Let's take this apart, take some sandpaper, and clean the shaft up. You guys can probably see how hard it is. Clean the shaft up. Or just play with it. Mine's pretty stuff, stuck. But, um,. Yeah, when you guys get this, there'll be a little piece of paper. 
little piece of paper, fold it up. And let me unfold it. Gives you pretty good instructions. Not too shabby. Gives you a blow up picture on it. There's your two tools you could buy. I'll put a link down in the description where you could buy these two tools at to help you take it apart and put it back together. I don't have one yet. I've always done it the old school way. But, um, yeah. Just want to clean this up and get a shaft fixed. Then I'll come back to you guys later and we'll hit this motor again. Alright, see ya. Alright, guys. Said I wasn't going to do anything. But I want to show you guys a tip. And this is, might help out some other people. Get your starter, get a piece of paper, piece of sandpaper. This is two thou. Lay just like that. Don't be, don't worry, it won't bite. The camera might fall, but. So yeah, I just want to show you that quick tip. Ugh. Now this should just fall right on. So yeah, there you go guys. Just a little quick tip. Yeah, guys, I'm going to just show you putting this back together now. Now if that gear don't work correctly, I'll use some PV blaster here. Just put a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Now I'll lubricate it. Now I should. That's good. Here we go. Alright, I'll be back. Guys, okay, just got that back on. Yeah, guys. 
This is how you fix your stuck throttle cables or choke cable. Get some. It's my dad for you. There we go. Okay. So there's your collision. We're running. We're ready for mowing. It's Wednesday. So I'll bet you, I don't know when you guys are going to get, I'm going to get this out, but I'll have it out. We'll be mowing this weekend. I wish I did a video, but my dad don't like being on video, so. Yeah. I wish I did a video first mow of our yard. Yep, I wish I did that, because you guys can see how bad our yard is. But she's running. I can stay in the garage now without an eye tearing, so that's good. So, I'll see you guys on the flips. Have fun, guys. Don't work too hard.